story was actually, this story was actually written in the 50s by a gentleman whose name escapes me at this time, but he's also written stories for Twilight Zone. It's a, one of our favorites. There was once a man, and he was sitting in a tavern, not far from here in New York City, as a matter of fact, and he was having a beer at the end of the day and watching the television and unwinding. And as he was sitting there drinking, he looked down, and there, there on the bar was a wee tiny little man only a bit more than an inch high. And he was dressed in a bright green suit, and he had a shock of bright red hair on top of his head. The man looked in his beer and rubbed his eyes and looked down and squinted, and yeah, there was a wee little man, inch high, green suit, red hair. And said, um, you wouldn't happen to be a leprechaun, would you? And the wee little man said, ah, yes, and I am the leprechaun, but even more than that, I'm the world's one and only leprechaun vampire. <laughs> and said, leprechaun vampire, and leprechaun vampire said, yes, there was an evil witch who cursed me, wanted my pot of gold, so she turned me into a leprechaun vampire. The man said, that's pretty rough, and the leprechaun vampire says, tell me about it, I have to drink blood and... I can only go out at night every morning. I have to get into my little one-inch coffin. It's terrible. And I said, yes, it sounds terrible. And the leprechaun vampire says, I have a proposition for you, though, you see. I'm, I'm so small, I can't bite people. So if you give me just a little bit of your blood, I'll give you three leprechaun wishes. Well, at the sound of blood, the man recoiled in horror. Blood, you want my blood, he said. And the leprechaun vampire said, look at me. How much could I possibly drink? A thimbleful at most. You can break your finger yourself. I won't even come near you. And three wishes. You can wish for anything you like. Imagine it. You can wish for money. You could wish for fame. Fast cars, beautiful women, expensive houses. Anything you want. But just a bit of blood. Yes, it was a good bargain, he thought. An excellent bargain. But before he could say anything to the leprechaun vampire, the bartender walked over. Looked down at the leprechaun vampire on the bar, reached over, picked up a toothpick, and stabbed the vampire right through the heart. Well, the little toothpick acted like a miniature wooden stake, and poof, in a puff of smoke, the leprechaun vampire was nothing but dust. Well, the man, understandably, was furious. He stood up and said, what did you do that for? He was a leprechaun vampire. He was going to give me three wishes. The bartender looked at the man, looked down at the little bit of dust on the bar, shrugged and said, I thought he was an olive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. As I said, I...